Hey guys, it's been a really long time since I picked the camera to talk to you guys. I'm going with my friend right now to the Berkeley Thai Temple. Apparently it's really known for Thai food because they're only open every Sunday from 10 to 1 I believe. So I'm really excited to go before I graduate because I've never been here actually. So yeah, I'll show you guys around once I get there. So I just came home from the Thai temple and since it's almost May 1st, I thought it'd be really interesting to talk about my experiences throughout my time here. I am graduating in literally 20-ish days and I thought it'd be really interesting to talk about my experiences. Okay, so actually before I go into my thoughts and experiences in Berkeley, I want to kind of rewind back to high school. Basically, my story is when I visited colleges in my junior year, Berkeley was one of the colleges I visited. And when I visited, it was so sad and depressing because it was raining and it just seemed like very gray and dreary that day. But in junior year, I literally came to campus and I saw it and I was like, there's no way I'm ever going to attend here. Like, it's not for me. And it's funny because I said this and here I am about to graduate in less than a month, which is crazy. But at the time, my dream school was Wharton at UPenn on the East Coast. And that was a school that I applied early decision to. I ended up getting deferred and then rejected. And then once Berkeley accepted me, it was one of the schools I got into that had a really strong business program and was in state, so I thought the deal was pretty good. I ended up going here and I overall had a pretty good experience. I'm overall really satisfied and happy where I ended up. That's just kind of like the backstory, but I'm going to get into some of the downsides. Overall, was Berkeley worth it? How dreary the actual city is? It's really different from where I live. Where I came from, it was really suburban and safe and coming to Berkeley was definitely a culture shock. It's much more urban and city-like, so a lot of aspects I wasn't used to. The city definitely has a homeless problem, and sometimes it gets really sketchy at night, so I often try not to walk home alone. I always carry pepper spray, and luckily I haven't had to use a pepper spray at all, but it's still like something that you know, I'm not used to, and I wouldn't really live in a city like Berkeley if it weren't for me being a student here. That's one thing. My other thing is the rent prices at Berkeley. Eating strawberry yogurt right now. The thing about rent in Berkeley is that the landlords are able to charge a really high price for kind of like a shitty apartment. Because it's the Bay Area, there's a housing problem. There are so many students for much smaller amounts of housing available, so they know they can charge really high prices and students will still want it. I will like talk about how much I paid in rent over the last three years since I've been here, just to give you guys sort of a more concrete idea of how the rent situation is like. So in freshman year, I lived in the triple, so I had two of the roommates in the same dorm room. It was really small. And for the academic year, it was around $13,000, which includes a meal plan. So I guess it kind of like balanced out. And with housing in Berkeley, you have to start searching for housing literally in March before the next school year, mostly because Berkeley doesn't guarantee housing after your first year. Most students live off campus and that's what I did in my second year too. I found a one bedroom apartment with another friend. We share the one bedroom, so it's kind of like a double and we each split that space for 1,100 per month. And it wasn't even a good apartment. It had blue carpets. The whole apartment was really run down. Like it just looked really old. And then when COVID ended, I moved back home in March of 2020. I still paid rent up until June 1st when my lease ended. And luckily after that, my junior year, I did not pay any rent at all. So then senior year came around. I kind of wanted my own room. So I was looking for singles and I found a nice place next to campus called Telegraph Commons 
which was really close to campus and I had my own room and stuff. For that fall semester when I lived there, I was paying, I'm so embarrassed to say this, but I paid $17.95 per month to live there. When I think about it, I cringe so much because I was, I feel like I get such a better deal. Luckily, my room was only from August till December, so I was able to get out of that pretty easily, and I was so glad I did that. For my last semester, which is right now, Ashley found a sublease. So a sublease is basically when someone has a room, but they are leasing it to you for a fixed period of time. So luckily I was able to get one for five months from January till May when I graduate. I'm currently subletting this place for $1,050, so much, much better than the $17.95 I was paying earlier. But the thing with this, I get my own room, one bedroom apartment, so I'm actually in the living room right now. I have, I can show you guys, Ashley. So this is how my room looks like right now. There's a curtain over there which separates like the kitchen from my living space and kind of like a makeshift closet sort of situation. Uh, my bed, here's the window, here's like my desk setup. So yeah, I'm paying $10.50 and this is before utilities, like internet, electricity. So when you add those up, it's like $1,100. So it's definitely way, way better than what I was paying last semester, but still like pretty rough. I'm living in the living room for that price. So I don't know. The walls are kind of thin too, not much privacy. This is how the rent situation is like in Berkeley. So when they tell you it's rough, it's pretty rough. So I'm in Haas and I think the classes are okay, but when it comes to the Haas grading curve, that's when it kind of sucks. They grade you on like an average curve. So even if the average is like a 94%, that corresponds to a B plus. That was definitely something that I had to get used to. I'm gonna talk about some of the positive aspects that Berkeley has impacted me. So I definitely came to Cal mostly because of the business program. It was something I wanted to study before coming into college, so I knew like this would be such a great opportunity. I think I learned a lot when it came to like classes and professors. I feel like being in Berkeley and at Haas has provided so many opportunities and doors for me that I'll carry with me even after I graduate. The second one can kind of be applied to any school. I feel like Cal is super diverse. There's like so many international students and people from different states. I definitely made a lot of friendships here that I will really cherish and take with me after I graduate. The third aspect and like a really big part why I chose Berkeley was that it was really close to home. Like it actually saved me so much money in terms of the financial aspect because there's no plane tickets involved, moving or storage costs. It was just really easy to like move my stuff back home. And I guess the fourth aspect is that being in California, being an in-state resident to Berkeley, I feel like it's so a good deal. When I was a junior and looking at private schools on the East Coast, I literally feel like if I went to one of the schools, I could have ended up with similar postgrad opportunities. So I feel like it was really worth it in the financial aspect. I definitely think if you're considering Berkeley to think about the pros and cons and what you value in the university, overall, I really like my time here. Personally, when it comes to graduating, yeah, I'm so excited to see what's in store for me. Anyways, I hope this was helpful or informative. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below or DM me on Instagram. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.